Hi everyone, it's Dr. Hafez from Scholars Dental and the AFK results are out for the August 2022 exam and we have other things to talk about, so let's get started. The AFK results just came out um, for the AFK 2022 exam. AFK 2022 results are out. So congratulations to everyone that passed the exam. Congrats to all our AFK students that passed the exam. Um, and also for the students that have not passed, just know that you are, if you're taking a course and you're studying, you are on the right path. It just needs some a little bit longer or a bit more time than other ones. So don't lose hope. Keep going. It's not a true fail if you're studying and preparing. It just means you need a little bit more time um, to get to the point where you could pass. So I encourage you to continue and go keep studying for your uh, second attempt. So again, congrats to everybody uh, that passed and to everyone that didn't pass if they put in the effort. Uh, just for anyone considering to take a course for the next exam, our catch-up program is go, has not started yet. So what that means is you could actually enter our course, you know, it, in this week or next week and still have the chance to see everything from the beginning. You didn't miss anything as long as you have enough time to do that because you might have to do, you know, two modules in one week. So please, if you are someone that is considering to take the AFK Feb 2023 and you are still not in a course uh, and you're considering a course, contact us get a free consult we'll explain to you how it works and we'll see if you're a good candidate for our catch-up program it basically means you'll enter you know even if you missed a month or two from the course you'll enter the course and still have the ability to go through the entire content if you have enough time but we need to do an assessment to make sure you are a good fit for that okay so contact us and you can get a free consult for that so that's one thing now what did we learn from these results from what I saw from some students that sent us their scores or their passing, you know, uh, proof from the NDEB, they actually applied the pass fail system without any scoring. So what I saw so far is that if someone passed, they do not show you the score, but if someone failed, they do show you the score. Okay. Interesting. So the thing they've been, they've been planning to do, which is, just make it a pass fail exam without any score when you pass they started it now now how is that going to impact the universities how is it going to affect like when you apply to universities are universities going to ask for that afk score would they have to contact the ndeb directly to get your score or are universities going to move to a or shift from the afk going to adat which gives out a score so we, I don't know exactly how that's going to play out. We'll just have to wait and see how it goes in the, you know, in the future. But I'm just want to let you all know that whoever is wondering, they actually now applied the pass fail, where if you pass, you don't actually get a score, but if you fail, they do show you your score. Okay. Um, so that's interesting. So that way you could know like how far were you from the pass? I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but it's interesting. So that is point one. Point two. We have, um, again, something about the NDEB, the AFK exam, which is you don't find easily on the website, but if you go to the AFK part and you scroll down, you could see that the registration for the a next AFK, right? Not the one, not just the immediate next, right? The one after has been established. Isn't that awesome? you know, knowing this early. So we know for the Feb exam, if we draw a line here, okay, sorry. So I, I did put that a little bit high up there. So I'm going to move it a bit down so you guys could see it better. There you go. So pass fail. Okay. Move this up here. There you go. Alrighty. So the second point is the registration for the August 2023 exam. So right now, this video is being made on October. Okay, October, you know, 12 could be published another a few days after. So we're aiming our course to start in September. So September, October, that's when our AFK course starts. 
started and it's that's for the feb 2023 exam okay so that's afk exam okay so this is september 2022 the exam after is in uh, august 2023 that's the afk exam and our course for that will be in march 2023 okay so we'll put c or this course here so again you could register for our course and get the books early uh, so you can start preparing and studying and we have surveys that prove that if you study longer than six months you have a better chance of passing so you want to get a few months of reading before the course starts that's really recommended okay now um so we have the and when is you can see here when is the registration date for the feb exam it's actually in november registration date and it's november 22nd and we talked about this before november 22nd it's it's relatively late and we said that's a problem now people that register you know they find out they are in the exam and if they haven't started the course a course yet then they're already late i mean we do as i mentioned have a catch-up course that the catch-up program will start we'll try to plan it that starts a bit later so that you have the chance to watch everything or and and and, and attend all the lectures um but the i don't recommend it if the ideal thing to do i don't recommend planning for that the ideal thing to do is to start the course from the beginning so you could do each module on its own like each module in one week that way it's more relaxed but for those unique or situations where you are looking for a course in november then that's this is the best solution you have which is a program that will accommodate for you and that's what we do we will help you but you have to have more time on your hands so that you could watch a module plus a module from before okay that way you could make up and and, and watch all the content so that's the issue that was the, the weird thing about this feb 2023 exam that the no, the registration opening was is going to be in november now for the august exam the opening is going to be march 8 so march 8 this is really good um, that way people early on in the course during the course will know if they get a seat or not and they could then decide hey maybe i want to transfer to the next course maybe um you know i want to finish the course but you just know even people that don't want to start a course and they um register march 8th then they could just they're not too late for a course right so i really like that they did the next one early but you can see it's not symmetrical so this november thing was kind of a unique one-time situation um and the way you know it's late like when we start a course in september november is like two months after so the registration openings two months after our, our course starting date whereas in the cycle from march to august next time in 2023 it's going to be in the same month of our course starting date you know so if, if they were to replicate what they did in the september cycle it would open march april may imagine like they opened registration date in may then it would be another another issue the similar to having it late right so awesome i just want to make sure everybody knows that the march open uh the afk for the august 2023 the registration date is early okay so it'll be march 8th and it's been announced it's kind of hidden you might not see it right away but um especially with all the ndecc exams you know cluttering the dates and locations but it has been established and again it's 10 a.m eastern time just like the one coming up as well in November. Okay, and the third one, the third point we want to talk about is something new called NDEB Connect. So, you know, if you're in the if you have an NDEB account, you've probably been seeing this and getting emails, and some students kind of a little bit just concerned, like, oh, what's this? I look at it as a good thing. This is a a move in the positive direction. We know that the NDEB had a bunch of issues before with registrations okay so if you're new to this let me give you a little summary of what happened the history so there was a phase where when you want to register for the exam you go on the ndb website you click and you try to register through your account but because there's so much traffic the website couldn't handle the traffic and would crash and freeze and people that were there early on their computers before the opening time to register those people had the, the website crash on them and they couldn't actually register. Um, and it was just random. It wasn't fair to some people. It was, uh, you know, upsetting. 
So what the NDEB did after that is they made a, they did a different system because their website was crashing. So they said, you know what, from now on, so that was before. Now, the second thing they did after the crashing, they asked everyone to apply, send a PDF like, hey, an application, I wanna take the AFK. They took all these applications, put them in a pool, and then selected randomly from those applications and then said, okay, you were selected. Do you want to take the exam? Yes or no? If not, we'll, se we'll select a different person. If yes, then you'll take the seat. So they did that to avoid the registrating through, through the website and causing the crash. So now that was kind of temporary solution, I guess, so that now they're creating something called the NDEB Connect, um, which some have told me is similar to the Australian exam. They also call it Connect. So it's a portal that you will basically register through. So I'm hoping that it's going to be more smooth, a better experience. Let's hope, right? So in fall of 2021, let's see what it says here. The NDB experienced significant technical issues with its online plan for graduates and non-credential programs during one of our largest registration periods. A lot of traffic, right? Since that time, the NDB has been, and remember that the traffic was because during COVID, a lot of things, you know, there was an exam that was delayed, one that was voiced. So there was a, a lot of uh, students that wanted to do the AFK afterwards, right, during that time. So since that time, the NDB has been working on finding solutions to improve our experience. In November 2022, the NDB will launch NDEB Connect, a single application and registration portal for all examinations. So great, this is going to be starting. It's effective November 2022. So for the next registration. So for people taking the Feb 2023 uh, exam, they'll be registering on November 22nd and they will be using the uh, NDEB Connect portal. So a single application registration portfolio exam. The new portal will provide additional functionality for the user and allow examiners to easily uh, manage their registrations or manage the registration while providing improved access to the portal during high demand times. Keep an eye on your inbox for instructions on how to set up the NDB Connect account. So um, I think there's nothing to worry about here. This is a, an attempt from the NDB to make things better for us and you, for, uh, for everyone applying for these exams. So it's a positive uh, step and it's a good step in the right direction. And sh we should be, you know, optimistic about it. Okay, so that's it. Pretty much what I wanted to discuss. First thing, AFK results are out. And we established that the NDB has been using the pass fail system. People that passed did not get their scores. People that failed got their scores. How does that affect university applications? How does it work with universities that still accept AFK? Will they shift to using ADAT? And that is something we will discover in the future. Second thing, the opening date for the August 2023 exam has been established and then it's March 8th of 20, uh, 2023 which is an early registration date good awesome that's positive the pass fail you could look at it as positive less pressure on the student to get a higher score if you pass you pass you don't need to know if you got 90 something 80 something so there's something nice about that that you don't need to have that pressure or any kind of like barely passed feeling oh i'm 76 or you know you, you don't you don't have that pressure anymore so i would look at it as a positive thing unless it affects the university applications negatively. So we'll see what happens there. Um, uh, you know, if, they, if the university could get your score in a confidential way and, and just kind of based on that, accept you or not, then maybe, right? But then you'll be always not knowing what it is. Weird. Maybe you could request from the NDB what your score is and it'll tell you. Um, that's the information I have so far, so we'll discover that. So that's point one, point two. We said the registration date is early. Another positive thing. And number three, the NDB Connect, another positive thing. So all three, I think, are positive, uh, positive and, and good things for NDEB participants. All right. So that is it. Again, I want to remind you, we have started our September course. You could register early for our March course if you want to go for the August 2023 exam and get the books early. Get the books early. Start reading. Um, our books are updated for 2023. Um, and includes all the updates you need and you just need to start reading a few months before the course then take the course that's the ideal the best you could do and if you need any help to plan your strategy um, you can come to our website book a consultation 
a free consult and we'll discuss uh, you know your unique situation and plan out your strategy if you're taking the feb 2023 exam okay and you found out that you just need a course right now if you're taking a course that's good that's working for you great keep doing that if you're not taking a course right now and you're going for the feb 2023 exam and you feel like you missed out on taking courses okay um please contact us and get a consult we have a solution for you we'll present it we'll talk about it we'll see if it's if fits your needs then you could decide yes or no you have nothing to lose but we have a solution for late register registrants people that are registering for courses late you'll be able to watch our videos you have uh, you'll, you'll we have a system for you a schedule that you watch all the content and don't miss out on the lectures right so you'll be able to watch all the lectures you missed if you could go through the schedule if you have enough time to do that okay so there's two type of students that um are going to be late register registrants right so i'll draw these in blue after this uh, after i made the summary and i'm just going to add this for to, to kind of organize people that just found out they failed again sorry for for you, you know not making it again if you prepared you, still you did a good thing and you just need more time don't don't lose uh, you know don't be discouraged by that however if you didn't do much then i would say okay now let that be a warning that you have to work hard this is a competitive exam it's very difficult to pass it alone without help okay as a competition so um the least you could do is book a consult to understand what other students are doing what they're going through um th the kind of training they're going through so people that just realized that they failed and they are not taking a course please contact us for a consult see the catch-up program and see if it fits you people that in november on november 22nd that are waiting to see if they get a seat which i always say don't do because i always mention it's not a good plan to wait until you get a seat then start preparing because you're already late okay the plan is you start preparing hoping you'll get a seat then you could modify that plan okay but if you are doing that and you're thinking hey i'm not going to prepare until i get a seat and then on november 22nd you do you actually get a seat but september october have passed and now you need help also contact us we'll present the catch-up program that where you'll be doing two modules in one week to be able to complete uh the course before your exam okay um that's pretty much it um i hope that was beneficial and uh, we updated you for this month and I'll see you in the next NDEV update or in the next video. Thank you for watching and have a good day. And congrats to all of you that passed the AFK.